Hello everyone, uh, my name is Lou. I'm one of the pastors at Cross Culture Church and it's great to have you with us. If you're from the Cross Culture community or from Pasco Vale Church of Christ or uh, just visiting us online, it's really, really wonderful to have you here uh, uh, during this Easter week. We're going to have two devotions this week to help prepare us uh, for Easter. Uh, you can sit down and, and do this uh, personally or perhaps with your family or even online uh, with a friend or two as well. Today we're going to be looking at Jesus' time of prayer in the Garden of Gethsemane just before he was arrested. You remember that this is almost a week after Palm Sunday. Uh, Jesus goes to, uh, with his disciples to prepare the Passover and there he institutes, of course, the Lord's Supper. He tells them that the scripture must be fulfilled in him and that he must suffer. Uh, Jesus goes to the Mount of Olives, uh, that is the Garden of Gethsemane, and we pick up the story right from there. Uh, do grab your Bible and uh, grab a notebook as well. Perhaps you can uh, write down a few thoughts or reflections uh, through this. We're going to read from uh, uh, Luke chapter 22 and verses 39 to 46. And he, Jesus, came out and went, as was his custom, to the Mount of Olives. And the disciples followed him, and he came to the place. He said to them, Pray that you may not fall into temptation. And he withdrew from them about a stone's throw, and knelt down and prayed, saying, Father, if you're willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. And there appeared to him an angel from heaven, strengthening him, and being in agony, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat became like great drops of blood falling down to the ground. And when he rose from prayer, he came to the disciples, and he found them sleeping for sorrow. And he said to them, Why are you sleeping? Rise and pray that you may not enter into temptation. Well, the most important thing, of course, that we see uh, in this passage is prayer. Uh, Jesus goes to the Mount of Olives in order to pray. And uh, the disciples, they tag along, they, they know something is going to happen, but, but they don't really know exactly what. Jesus, we know, is preparing for the, the biggest event in his entire life, the most difficult thing that he will ever face, the cross. So he goes and he prays. You know, he's not just doing this uh, because he's facing this big problem. As it says in verse 39, as was his custom. You see, this was a lifelong habit for Jesus to pray. You know, how can we make prayer our lifetime habit? You know, the kind of habit that will really change our lives daily and throughout the day, being a person of prayer. You know, it's really good for us to find ways to pray regularly in our lives. Set that time. Uh, each day, each morning to pray and then continue to pray throughout the day. Uh, Jesus prayed then for God the Father to get him out of this problem, the greatest trial of his life, but finally he says, nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. It's tough to do, isn't it? Think about it. Perhaps uh, you've lied to your boss. You know that if he finds out, he'd fire you but you think he'll never find out. And then God says to you, tell the truth, because it's the right thing to do. It's the character of God. Help me, Jesus, to do what I know you want me to do and not what I want to do. You know, have you ever had a situation uh, like that in your life? And, and what did you do about it? Let's each one of us become more like Jesus. When they first arrived at the garden, Jesus told the disciples to pray and, uh, so that they wouldn't fall into temptation. When Jesus finally uh, finished praying, uh, many hours later, he finds the disciples sleeping for sorrow, it says. And again, he reminds them to pray that you won't fall into temptation. You see, Jesus prayed, and it helped him to endure the cross. The disciples, they didn't pray, and they failed to stick by Jesus. 
You know, when we're at our lowest point, it's so easy sometimes to, to not feel like praying. And we might be too emotionally upset, too anxious, yet that's exactly the most important time for us to pray. The enemy will try and stop us from praying. Uh, our eyelids um, fall, uh, we feel so tired, yet it's so important to pray. So let's do that right now. Let's pray. Father God, what an incredible privilege we have to be able to come before the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, the God of Gods, to pray. And we thank you for that privilege. We thank you that uh, during this Easter period, uh, we are reminded of Jesus, our Lord and Saviour, who died for us on the cross. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I hope uh, to see you next time for our next devotion. And uh, God bless you.